Hello everyone, so today we're going to talk about innovation and dexterity in the companies. So, check it out. Okay, so when we talk about dexterity, the first thing that we have to understand is that dexterity has to do with writing with the right hand and the left hand. So in the companies, that's the same thing of running the core business, but at the same time bringing new things, new business models, new products, new services, being disruptive, and gather these two things at the same time. And you might think, okay, Tiago, but to be ambidextrous, do I have to innovate? Of course, yes, because running the core business is, we're talking about efficiency, right? But the other side, how do I bring new businesses, new partnerships, new services, new processes, new services, products, whatever, to the table, to the game? So we have to use the innovation. In this video, we're going to talk about the approach that was used and developed by McKinsey. McKinsey basically said there are three horizons, three innovation horizons. You can use these three horizons at the same time. So depending on your workforce, right? So if you have team to do it, so you can divide your teams to be responsible for the H1, the horizon one, H2, horizon two, and H3, horizon three. But more important, let's understand what are these horizons. The first one is what we say, the incremental horizon, H1. So what is the objective or goal of this horizon? So the H1, our goal here is to implement the perpetuity of the business. For example, bringing new features to a product or to a service, understanding the customer journey and thinking of how I can implement new things that will maintain this customer in my base where I'm going to um, uh, implement the, the, the perpetuation of, of, of the business, right? An example of uh, H1, we can say Apple, iPhone. So when we say that we have the iPhone model 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, doesn't matter. Many people say, we have a new iPhone. The product is the same. What do you have? You have new features. For example, number of cameras, biometry, um, a better processor, more memory, um, so a new uh, touch screen, more flexible, doesn't matter. So they are bringing every single year something new to implement or to increment in this product. But you can think of product or service or process, right? So innovation is not only about products and services. You can think of processes, right? So basically, what are you going to do in the H1? You're going to look for the best product and service that you have in the company. It can be products in plural, so many products. And you will focus on every single year or quarterly, you will implement something new. You will bring something new, a new feature, a new characteristic, right? And by the end of this period, right, so you will have your customers in the base with you. So this is the H1. So let's go to the H2. H2 is what we call transformational uh, horizon. I don't like this name. I prefer to say that's the orbital horizon. Why orbital? Because I think of, I take a look at my core business and I, I, and I take a look at what are the opportunities that are orbiting this core business. Better than theory, let's go to an example. Imagine Uber. Uber has its core business, which is transportation, right? Many people think, ah, it's a taxi with internet. No, it's transportation, core business. And they began with transporting people, but they stopped and they thought, Okay, so if my core business is transportation, I can transport pets, goods, I can transport beverage, I can transport packages, I can transport whatever. So, 
taking a look at my core business and see what is orbiting, I can bring new things to the table. I can bring new businesses, I can bring new models, I can generate more revenue. So the objective of innovation number two is how we can generate more revenue to the company. I'm thinking about money. Of course, H1 is important. Of course, we want money. But the objective of uh, H1 is perpetuation, right? Number two, the focus is on generating uh, revenue. How? Taking a look at my core business, seeing what I can put here or what I can aggregate in this context and bringing new services, new products, and more important, you don't have to break your head thinking of how I can be more creative or how can I do this or I don't have the expertise, I don't have the knowledge, uh, the learning curve is too long, so stop. You don't, you don't have to develop this. You can find new partners. So H2 is very based on either you can develop the, the technology or you can search or you can look for new partnerships, right? Innovation number three, that's what we call the radical, right? Or the disruptive innovation. Here, we want to break the status quo. We want something, we want to bring something, a new technology, a new product, or a new service that my competitors are not able to implement, right? And the, the, the example that I'm gonna use here is uh, Netflix. But something very important of the three is that many people say, right, so innovation number three must be very difficult. It's not. Think of Netflix. Netflix is a company that did not invent the movie industry, did not invent the app, the app, the application, did not invent internet, did not invent the broadband, so I need access. They simply gathered this information. They simply gather, so they had the creativity of thinking how to enhance the experience of my customer. This is the point. So you don't have to be genius. You don't have to be Einstein to implement H3. What you have to do is you have to stop and say, how can I enhance the customer experience? Taking a look at the customer journey, how I can improve it, right? So Netflix is a case because, as I said, they didn't invent the movie industry, they didn't invent the app, they didn't invent the, the, the internet, but they simply gathered this and they broke the industry. They broke many companies. So they were disruptive. So being disruptive has to do with technology, with digital transformation, and thinking of the customer experience. Okay, so I hope you like this content. If you did like, please share it and I see you.